This is Rusper's lad, and he is four year old, and he came to us in early start of January, and he's come for some retraining and then rehoming. Rusper's a really lucky boy. He um, was actually brought back um, by his breeder when he was ready to retire, and um, it's his breeder that has sent him to us. And when we had Rusper, um, the trainer actually contacted me and did say that he can be a little bit quirky, um, mainly when you're trying to get on him. Um, so his trick apparently is that he likes to put his head between his legs and run backwards. Um, so we were advised that what they'd been doing is having somebody leading him while another was legging up the jockey and um, if he was running backwards, then just to restart again, basically. And um, they thought a bit of time out and the way from racing would be the way forward with him. So what we've done is rather than start straight away with Rusper, we actually did give him a month out in the fields. And what we decided to do was, as with a few horses that come to us, um, we put him on the Gastro Plus from the Equine Edge. And we use their supplements quite a lot. Um, and the Gastro Plus is great, especially if you've got one that we think might be suffering a little bit from ulcers. Um, we put them straight onto it. And so what we've done with Rusper is popped him onto that supplement with the added Karma as well. Just because he was, although he settled in quite well, he was just a bit of an edgy horse. So he never 100% looked settled when we first had him here. And the Karma has actually just helped decrease those levels a little bit. And now, I mean, as you can see, he's quite chilled out. Um, he's looking good. He's a very happy boy, just munching away. He loves his food, absolutely loves his food. Um, can't stop him from eating. He really, really enjoys, definitely gets through it all. So anyway, um, what we've done with Rusper is turned him away for a month and then started him again. Um, and we've produced this video so that you can basically see how we've kind of worked with what we've been told from the trainers so what we're going to do is just completely restart him again um not so much with the whole lunging and things like that you know he doesn't, he doesn't need anything like that it's just getting on is the issue so we've got to restart him as in terms of getting back on the horse um so hopefully you'll see in this video how we do start a few of them when they've been a little bit quirky for getting on and we've we've had a we've had quite a few and um they've all gone off and been rehomed absolutely fine so hopefully this beautiful boy will eventually find his new home as well once we find out what he actually enjoys doing but before that happens we're going to sort out the mounting issue um so we will see enjoy the video So as you can see, Rusper is here now with the VIP pad on, ready to start his first day um, of having his tack on. And we're going to see where it goes. We actually use the VIP pad on all of our horses now. We've had ours from Equestrian Hire. Um, and it, we do find that you know a lot of horses, when they first come out of training, they can be quite tight through their muscles still, even if they've had a little bit of a break. So we have found that they are so much more comfortable using this pad and we use it on all of the horses um and yeah anything that makes them feel a little bit more comfortable a little bit more happy about life definitely worth using and i can definitely recommend it one thing to note here while matt is tacking him up is that Rusper isn't actually showing any signs of sometimes what people say is a typical horse with ulcers. 
Um, he's not turning around to fight him. He's not being uncomfortable when we do the girth up. Um, so, you know what? The gastro plus, has he done its job? Well, he certainly looks very happy. And, um, yeah, he's looking well. Let's see. Now, because we've been told that there's an issue getting on Rusta, we're actually not even going to bother attempting to take him outside and get on him out on the yard or in the school or anything like that. We are straight away going to just re-back him in the stable. Um, so what oh, Matt's doing boy. is he's got the mounting block in the stable with well him. Done. He's obviously just walking him around oh, it so that he can get used to having out on the well floor there. Done. And then he's going to start well leaning done. over him, um, kind of like we would well do if we were breaking a horse in for the first time. Stand. Good boy. So although I'm stood in the stable, I'm not actually holding on to Russell or anything like that. Um, I'm just there basically in case we do need to grab hold of him at any point. Quite often, the tricky horses to get on, they react worse if you do grab hold of them and try and make them stand still and things like that. Um, over experience, we definitely realised that actually if you can just leave them alone and get on without hanging on to their mouth, what a clever boy. You usually have a lot more success. So Matt's on board. Uh, first day, no messing about, he's on him. Boy. You can obviously see that Rusper's not quite happy about it. Um, he's not doing anything wrong, but he's certainly a little bit worried, really... would probably be the word. He's got his back up a little mm, bit. Good boy. You'll be a bit fresh, when you? Good boy. We're not going to push it yes, now today. Lad. He's done really, really Good well. Um, he's done everything we've asked of him. There's been no explosions. Um, he hasn't followed through with anything. He, he's Good just boy. a little bit unsure, on, but he's took it well. So, you know, the horse will get a lot of praise now. And Good hopefully boy. the next Good time we boy. see him, he'll, he will have improved even more. Um, but a good first good day lad. for him. All right, I'll get you. What we actually did was we gave Russ for a week off after his first session. Um, and just left him to relax again, so we weren't putting any pressure on him. And this time is day two, and what we've done is we've put the exercise onto him. We haven't put the exercise on before because we actually wanted to see how he would react uh, with us sitting on him um, before we started trying the exercise out on him. Russ was certainly looking like he's enjoying the equisage. Um, this piece of kit is absolutely invaluable to us now. We, we love it. Um, and so do the horses. I mean, you can see having a massage today is great for them. But it helps so much with any tight muscles when they first come out of training to as we start asking more questions of them. And we put it on before work with them. It really, really helps loosen them up. And yeah, they absolutely love this machine. And, um, yeah, he, he, he will thrive so much when he uses it. It will really help him. Rusper's had a nice massage and now he's packed up. And we'll see how he is with Matt getting on today. Um, I mean, he, he looks a lot more settled from last week already, really. He's paying a little bit more attention to me rather than what Matt's doing. Um, which is a sign that he's a little bit more relaxed about having Matt around there. And I mean, he's not, he's stood, he he's stood quite well by the mountain block. He's not bothered about that. Um, Looks and more relaxed. And as long as he doesn't start running backwards on us, then you know, we're, we're doing okay. It's just going to be a test then as to what he's like when we come out of the stable boy, with him. Well done. Um, but you, you don't really lad. know. That will be down to Matt when he feels comfortable There's with him. He's a good lad. Good boy, well done. Hey. Good.
Good lad. It's just all about, at this stage, making sure that the horse is comfortable, there's no pressure put on him, and, you know, there's no expectations. Um, you know, when he was getting, having a jockey legged up and being mounted before, he knew where he was going. He was heading off to the gallops. Um, you know, they were heading down to the race course. What's mm. nice? What's nice to see is that he's just standing there while Matt gets off and then remounts him. Um, so he's not stressing or bothered about it. And there's certainly no running backwards, which is, is brilliant. Um, so much better than we could have expected of him. And it's very hard because we obviously haven't seen what he's done, but we've been told. Um, so really pleased with him. Good boy. Hey, sweetie. There we go. There you go. There you go. Good lad. Go for a walk. Yeah. Go for a walk, mind your box. Huh? Leila, move. So I actually thought that that one should be to move back and out of the way so he could go for a walk around the stable. Um, but instead he decided he was happy that Rusper felt comfortable and safe to take him out of his stable and, and have his little first walk out onto the yard. So that's what we did. Walking over to the school, as you can see, Matt's just got him on a nice loose rein. Um, he's, he's not gathering up his hands or anything like that. He's just allowing Rusper just to walk along at his own pace. Um, and I mean, we've got jumps in the yes. school because obviously we hadn't been planning on bringing Rusper in here today. Um, usually we'd have put the jumps to the side and we just had a nice empty school for him. So he's, he's coming in today, he's got the, the show jumps around the edge of the arena um, where the kids have been jumping over the ponies. So there's quite a lot for him to, to have a look at out here today. The main thing is not to make an issue out of anything. Um, if you do, then actually you're giving the horse a reason to spook or start looking at things. So as you can see again he, he's just been left to walk around the school um you know have a look at a few things if he wants to but if not just let him walk around at his own pace and just get used to this new environment for him because it's a lot different from the horse being out on the gallops um he's in there on his own he's not following anybody else um you know it's a it's a big thing for these horses <laughs> when they have he to should be used to it he's in the field next door to her and so we just want Rusper to just enjoy being in here at the moment. Quite often when we do take the horses into the school for the first time, um, we will have a trot and a canter around on them if they're feeling comfortable and relaxed. And I mean, Matt's having a, a nice trot with Rusper now, so he obviously feels that he's ready. Um, like I say, with the horses, the important thing is to listen to them. So Matt would have felt that Rusper was happy enough to actually want to be going forward. And at the end of the day, they are racehorses. That is what they were bred for. They are bred to work. Um, they enjoy going forward. Um, and so don't stop them. We put him in this school now to get used to the environment, but we want him to be happy in there. And so if he lets us know that he wants to have a trot, then let him have a trot. If he wants to have a canter, then let him have a canter. I mean, obviously, you know, you, you don't want them to be going galloping flat out around the school with you, but it's a small arena. He's not going to be very balanced around there. And he's just going to basically, you know, let out a bit of energy if he wants to. And the worst thing that you can do to a horse is to restrict that. Um, so, you know, allow him to express himself in there. And if he wants to do a little bit more than walk, then let them. We see quite a lot of the problems come from when people start with their retraining, that they would prefer to spend half an hour walking around a school. Um, that's not always enough for, for these type of horses. They would rather go in there, have a walk, trot and canter around, 10 minutes done, um, which is what we're going to do with Rusper now. 
while he's having a little trot round, you can just see that um, Matt is opening his hands are quite wide and just holding them quite low. I mean, he's just using his hands um, just to get Rusper used to now that he's going to have a different type of contact. Um, and, you know, it's very important as well just to let these horses know in the beginning straight away what's going to be expected of them. And he's he's not going to be sure about it. He's not going to understand what's going on, but just let him start having a feeling of of that bit. Um, you know, he he's going to find everything a little bit strange for a little while while he starts his retraining now. Um, but he... He looks fine trotting around, um, Matt getting a feel for him, him getting a feel for Matt. And, you know, this is the start of their retraining process together now. It's really lovely to see, actually, that Rusper's little ears are pricked. Um, and, yeah, he, he looks fairly happy. I mean, he's... He's having a little chomp on the bit, but again, it's a different bit to what he's used to when he's been racing, a different bridle. These are all different things for him. That uh, It's a big change. Um, but yeah, his little ears are pricked and he's um, trotting along quite nicely. And you can see he's already even starting just to drop his head a little bit. Um, and when he starts feeling a lot more comfortable, when he, the head carriage lowers and he just feels a lot more comfortable across his back, he's going to enjoy things so much more and find things so much easier in the school um it's a big step forward for this horse and you know if we can get him enjoying his work hopefully the mountain won't be an issue at all and um all of that will have disappeared and um be in the past I think Rusper's actually really enjoyed himself there today. Um, he's had a good trot round and then finishing off with a nice walk, um, even having a slight little bit of a stretch. And again, you can see where Matt's hands are. He's keeping them nicely low and wide and just allowing the horse just to, you know, get a feel for himself and just stretch down a little bit over the back there. Um, he's, he's done really, really well. And it's it's nice to see him now stood there at the end when he's finished working, having a nice pat and quite happily just to stand still um, while Matt dismounts. It's actually a really good sign for this horse and very, very promising indeed.